The other thing that you have to learn is when you hold on to your history, you do it at the expense of your destiny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! That hit me. That just hit me. Did that hit you? That hit me. Wow. Whoa. This is a pump moment right here. <laughs> That's a, that's a church thing. That hit me. Yeah. Did yeah. that hit y'all? Yeah. When you hold on to your history, you do it at the expense of your destiny. Yes. That makes me want to cry. Well, that when, hit me that hard. That's deep. It's Woo. really deep because when, when you consider you, you cannot give energy, wow. but in so many directions, that you are a limited resource. And if you're going to spend all that energy energizing where you've been, wow. then you're not going to have the fuel and the fire and the tenacity and the aggressiveness that you need to energize where you're going. So touch somebody and say, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Wow. Women are taught to think that it is powerful to hold people hostage with what they did wrong, that that's your power, that's how you get back. No, I didn't forget it, and I'm strong, wow, and I'm good. tough. But, but it takes more strength to forgive than it does to be vengeful and angry. And the worst part about it is, I really, 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 really believe that wow. forgiveness does not exonerate the perpetrator. It does not justify their behavior. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. Woo! Woo! Because you let it go. Because you let it go so that you are available to be your highest and best self. And because you are saying that I, it is not stronger than me. It is not See? stronger than me. I, I disconnect from it as a sign that I am in control of it and it is not in control of me. All right. I'm still holding when you hold on your history, you do that at the expense of your destiny. That's a quote for the ages, I gotta just tell you. That's it's powerful. Be, that's right up there with it, it has the been. Ones. It has been my philosophy. If, if I had held on to all the things that happened to me in my childhood and in my life, I wouldn't be standing here today. The, the, I, I had to realize that when you rehearse those visions and images, you empower them. You, you actually enshrine them. I decided to cast down the idols of my history and to embrace the possibilities of my destiny so that I was available when God's roll call was made. Are you present and available for what I want to do in your life right now? My hands are free. Here I am. Pick me. I'm ready to go. That's so good.